Welcome everyone um, to our workshop today. We've been doing a series of these throughout April and into May. Uh, so if you haven't joined us before and you don't know who I am, my name's Kim Thompson and I have actually been using Young Living products now for just over 11 years, but I've been with the company as a member for 10 years. Um, I waited so long for Young Living to bring out a makeup range because, um, you know, in in the beginning I, I came to Young Living because I wanted essential oils for the birth of my babies. But then as I went along, I went on this chemical-free journey of using the cleaning products and the skincare. And the one thing that was missing from all of this was the makeup. And, you know, people would say to me at workshops, I talk all about hormones and how all the chemicals interrupt with our hormones and stuff. And I'd get to the end of the workshop and without a doubt, the first question that was usually asked was, but what about makeup? What makeup do you use? And we had to say, well, you know, and it was always questionable because even a lot of the makeups that are out there on the market today have nasty ingredients in them. And Danae is going to talk all about that today. Um, we're so blessed to have Danae and Christy join us. And the beautiful Kylie Bryant is going to be our lovely model as well. So we're super excited about that. Um, but I guess I just wanted to start by giving those of you who don't know about Young Living just a quick overview of who we are. Young Living is an international company that um, has offices based here in Australia. There's one over in Western Australia for all you girls over there in Western Australia, and there's also one in Sydney. Uh, we have warehouses in Perth and Wollongong, so they ship all over the world, um, all over Australia, but, um, you know, as I say, they also ship all over the world. Now, the thing for me... I'd used oil since I was a teenager and, um, you know, peach oil. I'd used all different kinds of brands of, um, of essential oils. But when I smelt Young Living, there was something different about it. The lavender smelt like the lavender flowers. The peppermint smelt so fresh and like a herb, not like a lolly kind of thing. And so I really noticed the difference. And I guess for a lot of us that have been with Young Living for a while, we know that that reason comes because of what we call the seed to seal difference. And that means that from the time the soils are prepared and the seeds are planted in the ground right through the cultivation, the distillation, the testing and the sealing of the bottle, you get the highest possible standard that you can get. And, um, this doesn't just go for the essential oils. It actually goes for all of Young Living's products. So whether you buy a supplement from Young Living, whether you buy a cleaning product, whether you buy skincare, and most importantly, what we're talking about today, which is makeup, whether you buy any of those products, they've had that quality testing, the quality process. Um, they actually base their seed to seal on three main pillars. And those are science, which means that they've tested all of the products that, you know, they're not just testing the oils, they're testing each ingredient ingredient that's in all of the makeup, all of the supplements, all of the cleaning products, all of the skincare and the essential oils. The, um, the standards, they're making sure that around the world that they're sourcing ethical ingredients. I mean, I'm often asked about things like palm oil. Where does Young Living's palm oil come from? And I say to people, you know what? It's not just the oils that have to go through this rigorous testing and making sure that they're not getting palm oil from, you know, Borneo and cutting down rainforests. They're actually getting our palm oil from um, sustainable palm tree farms where in Colombia where they've actually um, gotten rid of, you know, they were previously growing the, you know, um, I can't remember what the plant's called, but for the, kick, um, for the cocaine. So they've um, encouraged villages to stop growing cocaine and start growing um, sustainable palm oil. And the other thing about the third pillar, I guess, which is super important is sourcing. And Young Living have their own farms as well as partnership farms like we have a couple of partnership farms here in Australia including one in Darwin where we get blue cypress we have the partnership um, sandalwood farm in western Australia and then we you know they make sure that these three sourcing science and standards are upheld for all of the products including the makeup that we're going to learn today so without further ado um, I'm going to hand over to the absolutely ravishing, <laughs> amazing Danae Cazola, uh, who's going to um, talk to us all today about Savvy Minerals, which is Young Living's all natural makeup range. And, um, and as I say, she's got Kylie Bryant as her 
beautiful model. And then we've also got Christy Brown joining us today as well. So I'm going to just unmute Danae and hand over to you. Thanks, Danae. Hello, welcome everyone. Happy Savvy Saturday wherever you are in the world and you're watching. Um, it's an absolutely privilege to do this today with Christy Brown that's up in the northwest of WA, um, Kim Thompson who's over there on the east coast, thank you for the amazing introduction, and our gorgeous um, gold, uh, I'm the gold leader, uh, our <laughs> diamond leader, Cardi Brown, who's just dropped in um, and she's going to be my wonderful model. And what I love about Savvy Mineral Makeup is that it suits everyone from the youngest of starters in their makeup beauty regime to women like ourselves who are <gasps> creeping up to the five zero um, and then beyond. And that's what's so beautiful about it. So today you're going to get to play and experience with Young Living. So whether you are just using the products or watching today or grab your beauty bags and you can play along with us as we go along. So you're going to get to um, touch, feel and experience. So write down lots of tips. I hope to share many tips with you after today. Um, and I want to see some, if you do do your makeup today, I love to see some photos. So I'm going to do a giveaway um, after today's event. So if you are doing um, the makeup today, please um, yeah post up a photo and I, I want to send a, a little gift to someone that does the best job all right at least give it a go um, and so we're gonna get started so um, let's begin briefly about beauty products in general so I've got my um, Mario Kart um, champion here with that she's got my clicker so we're moving <laughs> along <laughs> all right so let's get started Oops. I've got to teach her how to. Oh, you? Yeah, 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 beautiful. So, okay, so there's over 168 chemicals that women put on their skin daily. Um, and there's 168 common toxins that's found in makeups, particularly cosmetics. Um, so, we, what I want you to think about today is the amount of ingredients that you're putting on your skin. We know that um, we put them directly onto our skin on a daily and we put them in the most delicate areas. So even the most um, amazing brands out there, well, they say that they're amazing, um, often include common to toxins in their products. So these are some of the lists um, that I want you to check in your beauty bag as you go through. One of them is mineral oil. Mineral oil um, is made from petroleum. And what it does, it clogs up the pores. Um, it has a negative effect on our hormones and our immune system. So remember, it's not just what's happening um, internally for us. Um, beauty comes from within and on the outside. But what it does is that these chemicals and toxins can and knock out your immune system. The other one's talc, um, which I apologise to my daughters every day <laughs> as little babies. Um, Mum did not know any different back then about how dangerous talc is, but it is also a known carcinogenic. Um, and it's found in eyeshadows, blush, and foundation. So a lot of the new, a um, lot of the cosmetics out there contain. Um, Towel. The other one is called bismuth and with a lot of those out there that have the news mineral makeup, it's a skin irritant. What it is, it's a synthetic filler that they use in eyeshadow, blush and bronzer and a lot of the mineral makeups now have bismuth and you'll find and you'll hear people that say, oh Danae, I can't use um, mineral makeup because my skin's itchy and that is something that, you know, um, has been happening with these so-called natural um, cosmetics that are out there. So what I want you to do is do your own research on makeup and, you know, it does matter what you use because with me, a bioaccumulation of toxic skincare and makeup made me have a hormone crash four years ago and I'm so blessed and so grateful that my journey now has taken me um, here um, and, you know, helping women still look and feel their best but without all the nasty ingredients. So like me, I'm sure you think about the food that you eat and where it comes from um, and how it's grown. And that's what happens with our products every day. So how do you think the ingredients that go into them? Do you know what they are? Do you know if they are harmful for your body? And especially mums, we are all beauty coaches. Um, we're all there to help, even grandmothers. You know, we're here to help our granddaughters and our daughters be here um, and be the next generation. 
so that they're not using, you know, those large amounts of toxic chemicals. This is a compound effect. So what actually happens is that there's a bioaccumulation of chemicals and toxins. They're found in skincare, cosmetics, personal hygiene products, cleaning um, and laundry products. Um, often, too, we're unaware of what the challenges are. While the body can break down some of these toxins that we're exposed to, it may not break down all of them. So the obvious reaction um, to the skin is very visible. So not only does it affect us emotionally, but you'll find the skin will become really unhappy and it starts to show. So we're going to introduce you to Savvy Minerals today, which, like I said, is great for all different skin types and all age groups, which is amazing. And I'm going to show you some tips and tricks of how to use it. We have an extensive range of beautiful, natural and gentle products that will make you feel gorgeous inside and out. But why do we call it Savvy Minerals? Because minerals are the main ingredient. So, for example, iron oxides, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are micronized or ground and milled into tiny particles. It creates this luxurious, smooth, easy to apply makeup. So all our Savvy Minerals by Young Living products are free from common type toxins that I just mentioned before. So we don't have any talc, bismuth, phthalates, parabens, petrochemicals, preservatives and dyes, as well as synthetic fragrances and fillers. A word of caution, not all mineral makeup is the same. Just because out there in the marketplace it says minerals, it can contain nasty toxic minerals, okay? So always check for purity. So we are going to start. Um, uh, the other thing I wanted to share with you is that Young Living is cruelty-free. So we don't test on animals, we test on humans. <laughs> <laughs> hence, hence my guinea pig here. She's like, oh, dear. So we're also free of nanoparticles. So nanoparticles are very ultra-fine particles which can be inhaled or ingested, potentially affecting your health. So a lot of sunscreens, mineral powders, all those sorts of things have nanoparticles. And what happens is that they leach into the bloodstream. And that's what we don't want. We have everything made from mineral-based um, ingredients that, and are long-lasting. So I get people ask me all the time, Danae, do your products last? And yes, they do. Um, and also infused with the best essential oils in the world. The, what our products are made for, for those that want to know, is that we have canolin clay. So this helps soothe and reduces oil. So it's very good if you live in... Um, Warmer climates, it has an absorbing ability um, to absorb oily skin. Uh, help absorb for those that have oily skin, sorry. We have mica as a base. So mica is a naturally occurring mineral. We have aspen bark extracts, which is a natural preservative that helps soften the skin. Also, our products contain vitamin E, which is an antioxidant that helps to nourish and promote healthy skin. We also have aloe which is a moisturiser and helps maintain the appearance of youthful skin. And also we have as a base sunflower seed, uh, sunflower oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, and of course the purest essential oils in the world. So who's excited to get started? So you're going, we're going to go through, we're going to show you how to do a light and natural, um, we're going to transition to day and evening. I'm going to do all the base up. And um, Christy Brown's going to take you through the sexy eyes. So um, we're going to follow while she yeah. does that. All right. So we're going to keep scrolling. <laughs> All right. So let's have a closer look and let's get started. So the first thing is um, for your skin to, for makeup to look the best, it's like painting a picture. And the reason is, is that you need the canvas to be prepared properly. And by that, it means that you need to use incredible, great skincare. Because if your skin's too dry, you're going to look more aged when you use makeup. Um, and if your skin's too oily, you're going to walk out the front door and leave your makeup in the house. All right? So it's really super important that we get the base right. Um, so... We've got lots of videos that we've done on skincare, which we'd love you to go watch if you're interested in helping get the canvas prepared. But today we're going to start because I know that 
Kylie Bright. I keep calling her Christy yeah. Brown. That's right. <laughs> She's got a different name. Hey, Kylie, Kylie uses, you know, the best skincare in the world um, and her whole house is Young Living, which is amazing. Um, and, you know, which, you know, we all want to do and that's something that we want to strive for because she knows that there's like chemicals in the home um, and it's important for you and your girls, Kylie. Oh, do you want to just share the okay. personal care? I can't control what's out there in the environment and what's happening in their school or anything like that. But when they come home, there's nothing there. Like everything's plant mineral based. Um, so they're not getting that extra toxic overload. And I have a very similar story to Danae that I ended up having my thyroid removed, but had a lot of hormonal issues and never actually realised um, what a lot of the underlying causes and what bioaccumulation meant. So I want my kids to have a different story to mine. So it was just important to get rid of all of those sort of things and make, you know, we do have a choice of what happens when you walk in the door. Yeah, and, you know, I've been to a house just like my house. We, you know, all our, we've both got um, girls, young ladies um, in our home and, you know, all their personal care products from their shampoos, conditioners, skincare, all those sorts of things are all young living because we don't have to research because anything's done for us. All right, so we're going to get... Um, started and the first thing i'm going to show you is um how to prime so it's a crime not to prime <laughs> <laughs> but you just love that and what does that mean we have two amazing primers from young living and basically they are the polyfiller to, to start, <laughs> isn't it? So if you want to um, have a really good base to start with, so she's already done her moisturising, eye cream and all those sorts of things. Um, one step I do do before I prime is that I add a spritzer onto the face just to give it a nice glow. So you can either do the spritzer before or after. So we'll do the primer first. So we have two amazing primers, which are polyfillers for us young girls, um, and we're going to prep the skin. And by doing this, um, the primer will actually just even out that skin tone. So remember, before we paint, we need the canvas to be prepared. So we have two. One is called a mattifying primer. Now, the mattifier is for those girls out there that have oily skin. It helps control the shine and it has tea tree and manuka in there. It's really good for the young ones or, you know, for those that have oily skin that have blemishes. So they can even wear this over the top of their moisturiser every day and it will help protect their skin. So that is an amazing one. The second one that I'm actually going to use on Kylie today is the hydrating primer. Now this is for those girls like Kylie and myself um, that has more of a drier skin. And what this is, it's formulated with geranium and bergamot, cedarwood, and has lots of skin loving essential oils. So, and rose. And, rose, and, and rose. it has rose in there as well. So we use everything that's got rose in there, okay? Right, so what you do is you just get a little pea size, okay? And you just gently wipe over the skin so even if you're not a makeup wearer i would really really encourage you to use a primer um because it will help even out the skin tone as well um and just add that lock in the moisture into the skin so there we go so we just pop that all over and it just smooths everything out I don't know if she's got anything to smooth out, by the way. Now, don't forget, ladies, the neck, okay? It's really, really important. Um, and you young girls out there, just to make sure that we look after our neck. It's one of those places that we neglect all the time. <laughs> all right, whoops. Cool. All right, so that's your two primers. One's called the mattifier for oily and one is called the hydrating for dry skin. Now, every makeup artist needs a toolkit and we have the best tools in the business and that is our brushes. They come in this beautiful bag, okay, um, and you get five stunning brushes in this. These are crafted and the highest quality vegan friendly materials in the world. What's also fantastic about these beautiful brushes, they're handmade by um, a family in Italy, which is amazing. And our beautiful um, 
Melissa Pepping um, in the US, a Royal Crown Diamond, she went and sourced them because she loves makeup brushes. Um, and so you get in here five beautiful brushes. So you get your big veil and powder brush in there. Today we're going to be using as well the flat top foundation brush. I love that this has got a nice long handle so it's easy to control when you're using mineral powders because if you sometimes use little short fat stumpy ones what happens is all the product flicks out everywhere and you end up in a mess okay and this is sometimes why people don't want to use minerals the other third one is that we have a wonderful foundation I mean sorry a blusher brush which is really easy to control um, we have a gorgeous eyeshadow brush and a blender so they're really, really good to um, do your eyes and Christy's going to go through those today. We also have four additional brushes that you can purchase um, separately to this wonderful brush set. I love this because you can put all your brushes in here and then you put your makeup in the middle and everything just fits really gorgeous, beautiful gift for yourself for Mother's Day or for your daughters that love makeup. So we have four other brushes which are a contour brush a bronzer brush, a concealer brush, and an eyeliner brush, which we're going to use today as well. So this has got a flat top on there and angled, and that's how we're going to be doing um, the wonderful eyeliner of that today as well. So they are your beautiful brushes. All right. Now, the next one is the misting spray. Now, when we use Young Living, when we get to bond our, um, bond our product together, we use a product called Misting Spray. What this does, it allows the powder to um, bond as we put it onto the skin. I'm going to show you today how to use that. The other alternative to those, if sometimes if you don't have the misting, I like to use the Lava Derm. And that's just sometimes can be a little bit more gentler on the skin because sometimes what happens is when you've been using mainstream or convention makeup that has contained a high um, alcohol and the skin does have a lot of chemicals in it, um, when you're transitioning, you may want to use something that's just a little bit softer on the skin. So this one helps um, bond your foundation to that as well. All right. So there are a couple of things that we're going to do. So we're going to talk foundation. So we have three main color when you um, are using mineral colors. That is warm, cool, or dark. Now, to work out whether you are cool, so you're either a cool one, two, or three, or you're a warm one, two, or three, or you're a dark one, two, and three. Well, I know Holly's definitely not dark, okay? Now, however, she could be in between cool and warm. So what generally happens is that one colour does not fit all. The thing is when you are searching for your colours, you will have a winter colour and a summer colour. And because Kylie has been gardening a lot, um, she's still carrying a bit of her summer glow, which is fantastic. So I, I thought I was going to go straight into winter colours with her today, but she's actually still a sunny, summer, summer bunny at the moment. And so she's still got a, a lot of her um, summer glow one. So um, it's good. So you can mix and match all the time. And the great thing is with minerals is that you can adjust the colours to suit. Do you know what I mean? Like you might want to be a bit more, um, have a bit more darkness in the skin or you want to lift it, that sort of stuff. So we generally have um, your three colors okay now if you're a cool color you're going to know but what am i if you're going to be cool what you're going to do is have a look underneath on your wrists you generally have a pinkish um glow a pinkish uh skin tone coloring you will tend to tan a burn in the sun basically the the um cool colored girls really burn quite easily um and they, their skin blushes red really quickly and also to their veins under there where Kylie was showing are blue, okay? So that is a cool girl. That's someone that is cool. So you've got pink, red and blue undertones. Now for which Kylie is, she's a bit of both, okay? Just to confuse me, she is a unicorn. <laughs> 
I thought I was a unicorn, but I'm hanging out with a lot of unicorns lately. Um, yeah, she's both. And so that's because um, traditionally she is a cool, but because she spends more time in the sun, she has got a cool with a warm undertone. All right, so we're going to do a bit of both with hers. So for the warm girls like myself, we have yellow skin, like we have a yellow undertone, we have a peach or gold undertone, and we have green veins. So have a look under here and see what colour your veins are. Now, generally the cool girls like to wear silver jewellery, yeah? So you can tell she's always got a beautiful white, gold or silver wearing. And the warm girls wear yellow or gold jewellery. That's what they, I mean, we wear both now, but traditionally that's how it would go. So your warm would be one, two or three as well, okay? And then, of course, the last one is your dark, which you know who you are. <laughs> and that's that beautiful Anglo-Indian going through. Um, the great thing with Young Living Savvy Mineral Makeup is that we go from that beautiful Anglo-Indian right through to the dark, beautiful Negro skin. So we can cater for everyone, which is fantastic. All right, so let's get some foundation on. Is tiny. So there's a couple of applications that we've done. So for her, I've actually chose, what was it? Cool, cool two. 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 Yes, yeah, so she's a cool two and a warm two. I've done a little video that you can jump on later and have a look. How I've mixed, um, how I've made a mineral powder into a liquid foundation. So there's a wonderful little, so you can see that. So I've made up a great little pot for her to take home today. Um, and in there is a combination. So there's a video going around for you to do that. So I'm going to put a little bit of this as a base and pop that on. Now, some of the tools that I like to use um, when you're doing liquid foundation is this is a little beauty blender. You can buy them online. Can you see that? And I just put him on his little bum there, and I can just basically run over the skin. And this is made with sunscreen. So it's just mineral powder mixed with sunscreen and really gives the skin a lot more coverage. So for those that are looking for more coverage, this is a great technique to do. Um, so that you get, because some people find that mineral foundation, you don't get as much coverage as a liquid. So that, you will love that. So I'm just going to even that out a little bit. And I just like to use that there, okay? Now, for those that use powder, I'm sorry if I'm in front of your way there. Cool. So I'm just going to do that like that. Cool. Right. Now, a couple of tips when you're doing makeup. If you've got young girls, make some um, wipes. These are done with gentle by your lavender. You can see it looks like a toilet roll. <laughs> so basically all I've done is cut that in half, okay, and then just added some V6 and some water and gentle baby and lavender. And I always have some makeup wipes in the bathroom, especially teenagers. They love to make a mess when they're putting makeup on and so do mamas like me. All right. Um, and always have paper towel too in your bathroom um, because it, it's easier to clean everything up. You can have some thieves wipes in there as well. Um, so that you can just sprinkle anything off. All right, so the other thing is when you're using mineral makeup is grab your brush, okay? Um, you use a, that one, yeah, yep. cool, right. And then we just spritz it, just like that. I hope these guys can all see everything good. Yeah, cool, cool, right, and then just give it a dab, dab. And then I just grab the mineral powder, I tap it into the lid, whoops, there it is here, <laughs> sorry. There we go, I'm back. All right, so grab your mineral powder, just tap it into the lid like that, okay? And then use your brush and do it in circles. So when you're doing it, if you want more coverage when you're doing mineral powder, you would do what's called stippling. And stippling is press, 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 press. Now, if you find the skin is a little bit on the drier side, what I like to do is just put a spritz of, just close, keep close, Whoops, I've given her a shower. Either the hydrosol or the lava dam, and that adds more moisture into the skin. Oh, and it's it one smells. of my favourite products. I love the hydrosol. <laughs> so you just stipple, stipple, stipple. That adds more um, foundation. And then what you do is you gently go in circles and you buff it out like that. How gorgeous is that? Cool. 
So I'm going to finish up and do her. I'm going to head over to Christy Brown. She's going to get you started on eyes. Um, and then I'm going to finish this part off for Miss Kylie. So take it away, Christy Brown, up there in Wickham, <laughs> North Western Australia. And we'll finish doing this. You can still watch us while you're doing that. Hey, Danae, do you want me to do bronzer? Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, because I really need to put my bronzer on before I do my eyes. So I Perfect. have just applied my foundation with um, a found, the foundation brush. I use mine dry. And I actually like to use my foundation in little dishes. I just find it heaps easier to use. Um, if I'm in a real hurry, I actually put my bronzer in with my foundation and just put it all on together. So I'm just going to quickly finish putting my eye foundation on. Okay, right. Bronzer. I'm going to use this veil brush for my bronzer. So the foundation that I've used today is Warm 2. That's my colour. Um, Kylie Bryant, we are very similar colours, <laughs> I think, as well. So I can wear a lot of cool and I can also wear a lot of um, dark as well. So um, I get away with wearing gold and silver quite easily and I also get away with being blonde and quite. I can go quite dark with my hair too. So with this one, I'm going to use my lid. I'm using Summer Loved. And I hope you guys can see her okay. So firstly, I'm actually just going to do a really light dusting all over my face with the bronzer. Because I'm there's quite a lot of sun up here at the moment. So I need a little bit of darkening. So I just pop that straight over. I'm just going to pop a little clip in my head, keep that out of the way. So a really light. I do love the Summer Loved. Um, I actually haven't used, I think it's the other one is, I've got little nicknames for all these makeup colours, so it's probably not helpful for me doing that. But, yeah, I use the Summer Loved and I find that the most popular colour. So I just do a light dusting and then I just tend to go under my cheeks that little bit more as well just to give me a bit of colour. I actually have a quite a lot of colour in my skin anyway, so I don't actually need a lot. But you can, I find some killer ISO eyebrows happening because um, the beauticians got closed two days before my appointment. So I'm going to show you how I hide them at the moment. So I love using my multitasker. So these are my little tools that I like to use for my brows. So I have one of these because I don't like opening up my multitasker every single day this little bad boy and I actually if you don't have any of these grab some um you can get them from the chemist I think so what I like to do is if you actually have a look at the multitasker it comes in a little pot so I do not want to be opening that every day because if you ask Lathan he will show how clumsy I am and my whole bathroom would be covered in that every single day so what I do is I scoop a little bit into my little, and when I run out, I can always just add a little bit more. So contact, I wear contacts as well, so I've got these on hand. So that's my little trick with that. And then what I do with this one is I just give them a little shape for where I want them to sit first. So multi-type you can use for your brows, it's great to use for an eyeliner if you don't want to wear black. You are a little bit more mature age and you don't want that hard black line as an eyeliner. So Melty Tusk is great to use for an eyeliner too if you don't want the super jet black. So I just give them a little shape. I hope you guys can see okay. And then I just get myself 
a little bit. And honestly, like in here, there's only a touch because if you fill up too much, you'll end up with way too much. So I'll, I'll show you the difference between one eyebrow and the other. This is going to be fun doing this on screen. All right, so when you're doing your eyebrows, try to stick on the inner line of your eyebrow. If You can always make them wider. Once you go too wide, they're going to be hard to make thin again. They're going to be too thick, okay? So I always just go on the inner line of my eyebrow. So you can see that line there. Pick up a little bit more colour. So you can use the lid of your multitasker if you want. If you're not clumsy, open up your multitasker. I would end up with it everywhere. And then I just pick up that line where I stopped and just bring that down. And then just go around. Okay, this takes practice. I've been doing this a long time now. And just think of doing your makeup. Like if you, you'd never do your makeup and you're like, that would take me forever to try and do this every day. Doing your makeup is like driving a car. The first time you get behind the wheel, you go super, super slow and it takes you ages to learn how to change gears, all of that, okay? Now we're all getting speeding phones, okay? So the more you do it, the quicker you'll get at it. I can do my makeup in about five minutes in the bathroom, so. Which gives me enough time in the morning to be able to my, keep my kids busy for five or ten minutes before school. So again... I just follow that inner line of my eyebrow. So you can kind of see I've got an outline of my brow now. I've gone in the line and the outer line and join that up. And then I just pick up a little bit more color and just fill in my brow between the lines. You do not need much color on your brush at all. When you're first starting, less is better. You can always add color later. It's really hard to take it back out. So that's one eyebrow done. And then what I do is I just like to soften the edges a little bit. So one eyebrow versus the other. I hope you can see that. So that just really defines it. So I don't feel like I haven't had my brows done for eight weeks. And when I tell people I haven't had my brows done for eight weeks, they're like, really? You can't even notice. And I'm like, you can tell when you get a bit closer. But this just saves me from... So I'll just quickly do the other one. Sorry, this does take a while. So again, just go on that line of your brow. And then I'm gonna move on to, so what I'm gonna do with my eye colors, I'm gonna show you two different colors. So I'll end up with two different eye colors. Um, I'm gonna show you something that you could wear more of an evening, nighttime kind of eye colors. Um, and then I'm also gonna show you something for a really light day wear as well. I actually wear quite dark colours during the day because I can. I've got quite dark eyes. Um, and I'm a hairdresser, sorry. Hairdressers are quite known for wearing a lot of makeup or getting away and wearing and makeup and crazy things, whatever we want to. I remember when I was an apprentice, I used to wear some crazy stuff into the salon, but people wouldn't even baller an eyelid in the salon with me wearing it. But if you walked out in the street with it on, <laughs> I think you're mad. Sorry, I wear quite a lot of eye makeup during the day. All right, so that'll do. So again, I just soften it a little bit with my brows. Brows are done. So they look quite dark at the moment until I put my eye makeup on. Right, that's that done. Next is my eye color. So I'm gonna show you my eye color that I love to wear every day. So I'm going to show you the Natural Quartz eye palettes that just came out, okay? So this is a great colour for everyone because they're very natural, okay? I actually wear this every day and I put all of them on. 
So firstly, I pick up my blending brush. So this is how I like to do my eyes. This is probably not, I mean, I think everyone does their makeup differently. Um, and makeup, when you go to makeup classes, they show you all different ways to do it. So what I do is I actually start, because there's a lot of colour, and I'm using the lightest colour in my palette, which is called Blessed. And I'm starting on the inner eye with the colour. And I want to start there because that's where I want most of this colour. I'm not going to start up here because I'm going to get a big blob of that colour up there. Okay? So I want to start on the inner eye and I also get a little bit in there. Let's just soften it a little bit. So I do all my eyelid and then I go all the way through my whole eye right up until that line of my brow. So that's my base. You can see the difference in colours already, like how it's affecting my eye shape and everything. So next I pick up my eyeshadow brush. And these things have got, I don't know if you know, they've got their names on them. They're so good. So you know which is which. And I'm going to go my next lightest colour in this palette. So this one's called Petal. Just going to get, just dab it lightly. Okay. And I'm just going to go over this bit of my eye. Now, how I prepped my skin today, I use the, because I have very dry skin, um, I use the Art Gentle Cleanser first. Then I use the uh, Satin Facial Scrub. I also used the Lip Scrub today as well. When I finished with the Lip Scrub, I actually rubbed it into my cuticles while I let the Lip Scrub sit, up, sit in and then washed it off. And I used the Art Light Moisturiser. I also used the Wolfberry Eye Cream. If you don't have the eye cream, highly recommend the eye cream. And for my birthday, my partner got me the R and Serum. So if you haven't got this, you need it too. It is amazing. I'm going to buy that for my mum for Mother's Day. It's absolutely beautiful. Smells like orchids, I would probably say, like fresh cut orchids. So that petal colour, we're just putting in that part of the eye there. I'm using the same brush. And I'm going to go in with the purpley colour one, which is called Dragonfly. So again, right in the corner here, I'm going to put that. And there is different ways you can put eyeshadows on in different spots of your eye to your eye shape. So you can Google that, different eye shapes, find out what eye shape you are and then find out the best way because this really this way putting this on really makes my eyes pop so there's different ways you can make your eyes pop so work out what eye shape you've got and then your eyeshadow application to your eye shape and then i'm going to go in with bliss i'm just going to put a tiny bit of this color on and i'm just going to go on the tip of my eyelid just here with that color So you can kind of see I've got quite a lot of a shadow here. And then if you like if you're going out at night, if I was going out at night, I would really layer that purple dragonfly on because I love that colour. And I'm just gonna put in quite a lot of that so you can really notice it. And then go back in with my bliss, the brownie colour one. And right on the edge there. I hope you guys can all see what I'm doing here. I've got a mirror right next to my camera, so I hope it's okay. All right, so when I'm happy with the amount of colour that I have on. I'm going to go back with Blessed, which is the light colour. And I'm just going to go on that inner eye again and just blend with my blending brush just to get at that soft kind of colour. And you'll see, like, once I put mascara and eyeliner on, it'll really stop making me look, my eyes look so washed out because I've got no, no lashes at the moment pretty much. And I just sweep over under my brow there. Okay, and you can even go on your inner eye and even with your eyeshadow brush, you can pick up a little bit of colour and you can even just go under here for night time. Just under your eyeshadow, eyelashes. And sometimes you think, oh, God, what have I done? It looks terrible. Wait until you put your mascara on. That's all it needs, okay? 
So that's that eye color. Now, I'm going to use our loose powders for my next eye, for my day shadow. So I'm going to use Crushin is my dark. Unscripted is my middle tone. And my light tone is my, this is my favorite, residual. Okay, everyone needs residual. So we always have a dark, a middle, and a light. So I'm going to go in with my light again first. With my residual light, okay? Over the whole lid, always starting on the inner eye. And it looks quite shimmery, but if you use your lid, and I'm using my lid because this is actually from my kit and then I can disinfect my lid and pop it back on because I've got the entire kit because I love makeup so everyone can come and try their colours. So I just do my whole eye there with that. Then I'm going to pick up my middle with my brush, my eyeshadow brush. So this is unscripted, this one. So if I wanted something really fresh, I was going to a baby shower out in the park or a picnic out somewhere outside, I would love this colour. I would wear something like this. Beautiful with like a little cocktail dress. Nice and light. So you just keep adding layers until you get what you're after. And if you happen to spill a little bit under your eye, all you need to do is pick up your foundation brush and not throw it. See, I told you I can be. And you just sweep it under your eye like that. So it'll just sweep off very quickly. So that's very light. And then the last one I'm going to use is Crushin. Okay, so it's very dark. I have a little whistling bird in here. All right, so this darker one, I'm really going to go in heavy on the very edge. And even with that little, like that light middle one, the unscripted, you can always just add a little bit more there. I think I needed to go a little bit lighter there. Unscripted. And then... Back in with the dark, which is crushing, right around the edge. Then I'm going to pick up my residual light again. And just go over and just blend it with my blending shadow brush. So that is, you'll actually find, once I add a bit more colour, you can see with my eyes, this one is like darker shades and this one is my lighter shades, but they're my three favourite go-tos um, with my colours. So again, on my right eye here, I have got the natural quartz and I've actually used all four of those on my right eye. Um, I might even go in when I pass over to Janae and actually add some extra I'll do it now. Add some extra of this bliss in because I really want to go dark with this eye. And then on my left eye, I've used Crushin as my dark, Unscripted as my middle, and Residual um, as my light. Residual is my favourite, favourite colour for eyeshadow bases. I would recommend everyone get it. You only need a tiny bit, so it will last you forever, that colour, and everyone can use it. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I like to do my eyeliner. So again, <laughs> I have my Christie Non-Spill container. Um, I like these because it's actually joined and I don't have to go rummaging through for two containers. I only have to get one. So again, a little bit of my jet black in there. Again, I do not want to be going and opening this every single day. It would just end up in disaster. And I find opening a container every single day, like I've 
never bought another one of these. This is my very first one I've ever had. So if I was unscrewing that and opening that, I'd probably end up breaking the container as well. So with these little babies, they're great. So what I like to do is I get this brush. I have a little spray bottle with water and I like to spray my brush. And in the lid, I just kind of just pick up and just get my brush prepped and ready for my eyeshadow. I pick up a little bit of colour. So you can actually do this in the lid of the of the jet setter of the black. Okay. I just make it like wet enough to make myself a little bit of colour. Now I have quite big eyes, so I can actually go on the inner eyelid. Um, but if you don't, you can always just do on the outer to make your eyes pop. A little bit more okay so I just go in and just do a little bit of color like you can notice that already like the difference that's made okay you can do just the corner of your eye if you wish or you can go all the way along again this is how I like to do it personally um, everyone does their makeup differently But that has made a huge difference in my eyes. So I'm just going to go and do the other one. But the other one I'm not going to put on so much. I'm just going to get a little bit of colour off my brush with that. See how much colour was on there? And I'm just going to use a tiny bit. And just do a really light one with this eye. I don't want it too dark. So it all depends on how much colour you put on your brush and how many applications and how much you go over. So that is eyeshadows, eyeliners. Um, I hope that was easy to follow and I've done my eye colours and I can't wait for Danae to teach us with the mascaras because when you come back, I'm going to put the mascara on while Danae's talking about the mascaras. I'm going to hand over to her now and I'll do that and you'll notice a big difference in the eyes. So I hope that helps with some eye colours um, and what colours suit you. So the dark is really great for um, night time. And the lighter colours are really good for time. So um, just remember what kind of Danae was talking about, whether you're cool or dark, to what colours you want to use and your skin tone and your hair colour. Um, yeah, so I, your cooler colours are fantastic. You obviously, like your blues, your reds, your greens, your cooler colours. And your warmer colours are like your golds, um, your reds, your coppers are beautiful on gold, on, on um, dark skin and dark hair. Sorry. Um, I'll hand over to Danae and she can talk about mascaras and I can put mine on. Hello. How great was she? Sexy eyes, sexy brows. Um, no more ISO eyebrows. Um, so while um, Christy was there, we were busy getting Miss Kylie up to date um, as well. So we've done her eyebrows and... I use the multitasker. Um, so the multitasker is great. Remember the Savvy Mineral Maker doesn't just have to be for the eyes. It can be for the eyebrows. You can use it as a lip liner. Oh, my God, I use everything for everything. Grey hair. Uh, and grey hair, yes. We can actually do it to um, <laughs> say bye-byes to the to the roots. So, yeah, we, we've got – we make um, a dry shampoo out of it as well. So that's really good. So you can do that as well. Okay. So, um, so – the great tip is there's lots of combinations to do with your eyeshadow, as Christy said. The main thing is is just plain, having a light, a medium and a dark colour um, and then, you know, using it from a day to a night wear. I also did for Kylie a um, multitasker as, the under, as her eyeliner as well. And if you want it to be a liquid eyeliner, how I wear it is that I just spray my angled brush 
with the Savvy Mineral or the Lava Dip. And then I will use it as a make, turn my multitasker, which is either black or brown, into a liquid eyeliner. So that gives it more staying power as well. So once the eyes are done, the, best, the next best thing that every girl needs in her beauty bag is the curtains. And the curtain is a mascara. Um, and we have just brought in, um, because remember, the eyes are the soul you know, uh, to our window, the window to our soul. And that is, you know, looking inside. So it's really important to have beautiful looking curtains. Right, so I love creating big eyes from mascara. And Young Living has just brought in two of the most amazing mascaras on the planet. We have the lengthening one, and that's for you girls out there that have short lashes that like to make them look longer. This has got lavender oil, which we farm in our in France. And Kylie, you have been to the French lavender farm, haven't you? Yeah. You want to tell everyone a little bit about lavender? Oh, it's a pretty amazing experience. But yeah, I loved um, going there and learning about how our lavender is very, very different. And when you have got our lavender and you smell other lavenders, you immediately know that there's something different about it. And that's because the majority of lavender grown now is Bulgarian lavender or clone lavender. And they're all those, um, lavender, and they're all those fields that are identical, same colour, same height, they all look the same. Where Young Living uses um, what they call population lavender, which is true lavender, not grown by clone or cutting, it's grown from seed. And um, so the, the plants can be different heights, different sizes, different colours as nature intended it to be. So um, the reason why other farmers and um, use the lavender or Bulgarian or clone lavender is because they get six times more oil out of each crop. Um, but it doesn't have all the same constituents. It doesn't do the same things because if we were all clones, we'd have the same weaknesses, the same strengths, same weaknesses. So um, Gary wanted it the way that nature and God intended. Um, so we have population lavender. And um, yeah, it's, it's far better. It's um, less camphor. The constituents are nicer for our skin, for babies. It's just got so many other incredible benefits. So in that area in Provence, which is the largest growing region of lavender anywhere in the world, um, there's over a thousand lavender growers in that co-op and only 40 of them grow um, our Young Living Lavender Oil. And when we were there um, a couple of years ago, out of those 40, 38 of them actually worked for Young Living. So um, what's in everybody else's bottle, I ask you? <laughs> Absolutely. How awesome is that? So, so you know, and I love relating stories to our products because I think it's so special. Um, and having, you know, the best, purest lavender grown from our farm in France in the lengthening mascara. The other one is a volumizer. So that's when you want the um, thickness. So we get the fibres from pine. Um, that's where we get plant fibres from. So that gives that buildable. So you can make your lashes look long and thick and luscious. So my secret is having, uh, and this has got cedarwood and rosemary in there. So it hasn't got the lavender in there, but it's got the cedarwood and rosemary, which we all know is great for growth. So that's what we use in our hair every day. So awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm going to, um, so also both of our mascaras have arginine in there. And arginine is a amino acid that has a very amazing conditioning and nourishing for the lashes. So this is like skincare for your curtains. All right, so let's go dress them. All right, so when you're doing it, and if, you, if your mum's out there with dance girls um, and you struggle to get mascara onto, onto their little lashes, I'm going to show you a really, really good tip. So what I like to do is if you're going to use, I could just do one with Kylie, but I don't want her to walk out lopsided today. <laughs> so you can, you know, if you've got short lashes, do the lengthening. If you want bigger lashes, do the volumizing. But if you want sensational wow lashes do both okay so what you got to do now if you're a mum out there and you're trying to get mascara onto your little girl and mine are 19 and I still struggle with this is that I get her to focus on so I'm just going to use a disposable today but normally you would just get them to focus on something because you can move their eyes all right so we're going to do that <laughs> because I've got girls there that like to twitch and move and then I can actually move Kylie's eyes to how I like it. So you just stand on the side. So we're starting with the lengthening. 
So when you're using mascara, go from the base, wiggle, wiggle up. This is a buildable mascara, so you let it dry in between. Okay, so we start there, and then you can lift her up a little bit so you can get them underneath as well. All right, cool. Now, I just because for hygiene, we use disposables. We remove them, and I'll do the other way. We don't double dip. And remember too, when you're using mascara, don't pump your mascara brush into your mascara because you will add bacteria into there. All right, so just sort of basically pull it out, turn it around, empty, and then we'll just do this. It'll dry it out. Too. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Look down. Now, if you're a mascara user, please, every three months, replace your mascara. Okay? If you use it every day. It's super important. Cool. And then we'll do that. And did I remember reading that a lot of your commercial um, mascaras, to get that lengthening um, and volumising, they use fibreglass. Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. Who wants to be running around with fibreglass on their lashes? So close to the optical nerves and will, you know, basically absorb into the blood, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's scary. Oh, my gosh. How cute is this? Right, and I'll just do some underneath. How are you girls going out there that are doing makeup today? Have we got any? Who's got some going on there? Can't wait to see. There's going to be a Gorta Michelle Marsh, and I see you. Um, hello. <laughs> um, I can't wait to see your photo. So now this is the volumizing one. So remember, pop it in, wiggle, wiggle. Right. So we're just going to get Kylie. Yep. Yeah. Under, under. She's got a lot of trust in me, guys. Live. I do. Her crazy blue friend putting makeup on her. She has no idea what she looks like. Some of you might remember. She made me look like a Smurf once. Yeah. I have made her look like a Smurf in the past with the blue, blue tansy. tansy. Yeah, blue skin. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. Right, cool. I'm like a man. <laughs> They're so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Mascara, every girl needs a good mascara. Or a couple of mascaras. All right, let's have a look. Woo. And you know, makeup's not meant to look, you know, is, is basically just to enhance the natural beauty. Oops. We've got phones going off here, <laughs> Facebook tinging everywhere. We love it. Cool, okay, good. I think Christy's got hers on. So there you go, beautiful mascaras, wonderful Mother's Day. Can you see that? Doesn't she look sexy? Wow. <laughs> hey, she needs to take me out for lunch after this. <laughs> we're going to put the bin out later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to go get dressed in our ball gowns and take the rubbish to bin out. <laughs> how, how funny would that be? All right, so the next thing is, is um, I think Christy did the bronzer. Yes, she did the bronzer, yeah. So blush, yeah. Blush is a beautiful, and you know, some people, especially when they're, we have five different colours in the blusher, um, and it depends on your skin colour. The other thing is, is that when you're using um, any of the Savvy Minerals, I've actually compressed them and made them into compacts. So you can do that by adding some of your product, and then using a few drops of your Art Toner, and I actually have made the blusher into a pan. How cool is that? Really, really easy. So you need some of that art refreshing toner, mix your powder in. Then what I do is once I mix it, pop something like a 20 cent piece to compress it and then allow it to dry. And there you go. No more messy savvy minerals. You can just brush and put on. All right. So let's use that. So we use your bronzer or your blusher. And when you use your blusher, and I actually added, thanks to Kim Alice, some um, diamond dust and I added some crowned all over bronzer to that. So I've got a nice little, nice. yeah, compact, all right? So it doesn't matter. Just get thick. So when you're using that, it's basically the apples here and just to lift some colour through there. All right? 
Kylie already has a lot of natural glow on her skin, which is beautiful. So she doesn't need to be, because I don't want her looking like a clown. You know what I mean? She'll be like, what, what have you done to me? So it's just basically, and you can see that beautiful. I call it sun damage. It's yeah. not sun damage. <laughs> cool. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> we need to make a pan out of it. All right. Now, Miss Christy Brown, we are back over to you. Um, so the blushes, sorry, uh, the blushes are five different colours um, and the bronzes come in two colours, crowned all over and summer loved. And I'm going to send it back to Miss Christy Brown to put on some lipstick and then we'll be back. Okay, I think you guys can hear me. Um, cool. So these are my eyes. You can see the dark on this one and the day wear on this one. And I've put quite a few layers of my mascara on as well because I really love my mascara. So you can see how the eyeshadow, the eyes have all come together once you put the, eye, the mascara on. So um, it always looks better once you get your mascara on. So I did put a little bit more darker eyeshadow on this side as well. So lips, I get super, super dry lips. So again, I said today I used the poppy seed scrub on my lips this morning. I left it on for a few minutes. Um, I actually rubbed the extra into my cuticles while I was waiting for my lip scrub to soak in. Um, it's super, super hydrating. So I used that today. And then I love one of my favorite lip balms is um, the Young Living Lip Balms. I never can run out of that because I get super dry lips. The colours I'm going to use on my lips today is Wish. So I'm going to go in with Wish lipstick first. So again, this is actually from my kit, so I need to make sure it is everything is kept super clean. So I actually have these little paint things, and sometimes I use these when I'm doing people's makeup. So I scoop a little bit off. Obviously, you guys who, if you have your own, you can just pop it straight on. So this colour I'm putting on is Wish. And then I'm going to put over the top my absolute favourite lip gloss. I love all the lip glosses. I wear them all. Sorry, I can't talk while I'm doing my lipstick, obviously. But this way you can kind of see two different colours. But this colour on its own is just gorgeous. I would really love this just as my day wear lip gloss, lipstick. So that's... The Wish lips, super moisturising, feels amazing on my lips. My lips need all the moisture they can get. Sorry, my favourite lip gloss is Abundant. Love, love this colour. Sorry, Danae's probably going to tell me off for, for pumping. Sorry, Danae. I am your teenager. She calls me her teenager because I do everything that she says I sh we shouldn't. <laughs> So again, I'm using a disposable. And this is gonna make it nice and shiny. And I love these lip glosses because they're not sticky. Especially because I always wear my hair out. And I hate when my hair sticks to my lip gloss. This one absorbs super quick, but still keeps lots of shine. And the wand on this is exactly like what I'm using. So you can really shape your lips in with the lip gloss. So I do believe that Wish, the Wish lipstick is actually not vegan friendly. It has beeswax in it. So all of our Young Living Savvy is vegan, um, except some of the lip glosses and I'm sure the lipsticks have beeswax in them. So just be mindful of that if you are vegan and you want to have a look into that. Um, that's something to be mindful of, to have a little look. So um, 
the lip scrub is amazing to use if you have dry lips. So the Wish, I love it because it's really rich and creamy. You can kind of see there that it's nice and rich as well. So super creamy. They feel amazing on your lips as well. So um, our latest shades are infused with tangerine oil as well. So they have this beautiful zing to them. So I am going to hand back over to Danae so she can tell us what colour she has put on Kylie Bright's, the other KB's lips. Take my hair out. Oh, she had to take an important phone call, more important than us right now, but that's okay. It's her daughter, so I allow her to. Here she comes, here she comes. I'm only joking. Okay, so we are super, we have so many different lipsticks in Young Living. We have, um, like Christy said, some that are infused with um, tangerine oil, <laughs> um, and we have some that have uh, got a beautiful shimmer in there. I also love, we have a range from our US, which you girls can jump on and order, which I know Kylie wears, um, and I'm going to pop some on her. And they're cinnamon, so they're made from mint. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous, but they're matte. For, so for those girls out there that love matte lipsticks, um, I'm going to use one. And guess what we've chosen for Miss Kylie? Posh. <laughs> The colour, all right? And you can see this colour. It's beautiful. It's a really gorgeous autumn. It's a very nice dark reddish brown, which is a really beautiful um, colour combination. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the angled brush and I'm going to show you how to do a lip liner. Now, like Christy said before, um, using the lip balm is wonderful for us girls um, as we start to, you know, uh, get a little bit... Um, faded. Faded. <laughs> We've come up with all sorts of names for us. Um, as we get faded, uh, we get these little fine lines. So using the lip balm as a wax, which I've just put not only on your lips, but on the outside of your lips, helps fill in all those fine lines that aren't there. <laughs> all right. So then you just use an angled brush and you're going to create a lip liner from your angled brush. So we're just going to basically up. Kylie has got a beautiful widow's peak, which is that little V, okay, that we have. And then we are going to like that. Now, if you take the time to put your lipstick on, which I do every day, um, you know, even if you're not a big makeup wearer, just put a mascara and lipstick. You feel like a million dollars. All right, cool. And then we're just going to go through here. And sometimes as we get faded, we parts of our lips fade out as well. So we need to create some of the lines. All right. So all you 20-year-old girls out there, um, enjoy because um, it's fun and games from there on. All right. Cool. And then I'm just going to – so I've created just a beautiful lip liner first. And that gives you sort of a great go-to as you're getting in. Yeah. Cool. And then because Kylie puts her lippy on herself every day, uh -huh. huh? there, then you can just pop that on how okay, you normally cool. do. Because she actually puts her makeup on in the car while she's driving. <laughs> Even her <laughs> eyeliner, she told me. <laughs> go figure. At red lights. At red lights with no mirror. Huh? How's that? Multitasking, that's why she's a diamond. No, <laughs> she oh, my. So, we talked about that analogy before, Christy Brown. I was, uh, I'm on my old plates <laughs> <laughs> with her makeup, she reckons, but she's got it fine tuned. Yeah. All right, and then to pop a beautiful shine across the top, over the top, I'm going to put the new Lux um, lip shine. This is amazing, it has 19 essential oils in there. Can you believe it? Um, or 19 oils. There is everything in there and it is beautiful for young ones, especially for Miss Kylie, whose lips are on the dry side at the moment, <gasps> but just great to condition. You can actually wear it to bed at night time. So it's beautiful. So it's called Lip Lux. And who doesn't want Lux, luscious kissing lips? Beautiful. There we go. I'm going to just finish off with a little bit of diamond dust 
and um, our models are just looking beautiful. And diamond dust is just our, where is it? Whoops, here she is. Diamond dust is our illuminator. So what it does, it just helps lift up. Um, I've actually added into um, the blusher that I made and I actually added it into the Savvy Mineral um, foundation that I add and it just softens the focus on us. Um, which we have two beautiful brushes. You can use this beautiful big one from Young in our makeup range. But we also have from the US as well this gorgeous little kabuki. Look at him, isn't he cute? I love it, love it, love it. All right, and then what you do is you just tap, tap a little bit in the lid. She doesn't need to be thin. I don't want to sparkle like a disco ball when she gets outside. Cool. Um, and then just highlighting through the top there, down, through, and then highlight. You can also pop a little bit there if you want to. That just helps lift the skin, okay? There we go. She looks absolutely magnificent. She didn't need any makeup to start with. <laughs> okay, cool. And one thing I really want to share with you um, as my phone's trying to go flat <laughs> is cleaning your brushes. So the last thing I'm going to share with you is how to clean the brushes. It is so important for you all to go clean your brushes. <laughs> The reason is, is that bacteria will end up on that. So a couple of great tips is one, you can use our amazing Thieves Foaming Hand Wash to clean your brushes. But do remember, do not wet the timber, okay? So you just pop a little bit in there gently and then you will just wet them and allow them tight Hold them tight and allow them to dry naturally in the sun, okay? Otherwise, they're going to look like that. The other way um, to clean them is to use the Thieves spray. So every, so every time I use my brushes, I spray them, okay? That will keep them free of any little things. <laughs> cool. Also too, <laughs> also too, um, from the US, next time you do a US order, you can grab a wonderful little mat. Um, and this is really good when you're changing all your eye colours because minerals stick to skin or silicone, all right? So this is really good. So instead of using things, you can use this little silicone mat to get your excess colour off and that will clean out all your brushes. So they're really good. And in the US, we have, and you can order all these, is a hard cleaning compact so that you just wet your brush mix it around and that oh, is divine you've got to smell it it's beautiful and so that is just a wonderful um product to use to clean for all you mon makeup monkeys makeup junkies out there so there you go thank you everyone kim thompson's gonna take us out thank you for spending savvy sad day with us I hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know what you've loved about today. We'll pop, post some photos. Thank you, Christy Brown. Kylie Bright cannot thank you enough. Oh, thank you. Hey. And um, no, um, thank you for being letting me be part of this. This is great. <laughs> I'm all, all ready to go out to nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There we go. Kim, take it away. Thanks, Danae. You are awesome. You are so knowledgeable. Like, I learn stuff all the time. I was so busy making notes in the beginning that I actually forgot to start putting my own makeup on. So I had to catch up. <laughs> I was like a really rushed job because I was so busy. I love the stuff about prepare the canvas before you paint and it's a crime not to prime. I love your little sayings. Um, there's a couple of questions that some of the girls have got. Um, Anna Marie's got two questions. One was around... Um, the uh like what happens with the primer if you're sort of not dry or oily like your combination or something like that so can you use both the hydrating and the mattifying primer or what yeah e either one would be great when you've got combination skin you are either got an oily t-zone and you've got dry cheeks so either of those so if you tend to be oh my dry my my dry um cheeks are annoying me more then get the hydrating if your oily t-zone is driving you nuts then get the mattifying primer instead does that help yeah and the other question was about a concealer what do you do for a concealer yes 
So when you do a concealer, you can actually use the Savvy Mineral um, Sunscreen or you can use the diaper cream because they've got um, light pigments in there, so light reflecting pigment. You can actually, when you make a concealer, just do it two, one or two shades lighter than your normal foundation. And that also will give illuminating effect to the skin as well. So what you do is just, um, um, you, concealer can be as simple as just grabbing your mineral foundation, one or two shades lighter, wetting it with your savvy, pressing it and then just using it underneath your eyes or you can do a cream-based one if you prefer um, and mix it a little bit with the cream like I did and then just dab it on with the concealer brush. We actually sell them. They're really good. Okay, great. And um, Teresa's asked about when we can buy the mascaras outside of the Mother's Day pack. Are we allowed to say? I don't know. <laughs> Is it towards the end of the month? Yeah, I think it's going to be throughout this month sometime. Yeah, but after the 20th, maybe a Later towards the end of the month. Yes, I believe. I think. Hey, I'm, going, I'm, sticking, I'm sticking with it. I don't know. <laughs> what is playing Kylie? He knows, um, I, know. I, know. I remember hearing something about towards the end of the month. Yeah. Like, don't hold me to that because I might have dreamt it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next question is, you know what you did, how you made the um, blush into the... Uh, yes. Yes. Can you do that? The other question was, can you do that with the foundation? Yes. And the eyeshadows. Yes, and the eyeshadows and the multitaskers, any powder, any of the powders. So if you're used to wearing a pressed powder, it's perfect. So, um, you know, you've probably got some old makeup. Like I've used these tin ones because that fits in. That's really super easy. Um, but, yeah, you could use, a, you know, something and then you can just pop the, the lid on there. You can actually you can buy, buy palettes. You can yeah. buy the palettes. And Kim Ellis has actually done it. So if you're still on here, Kim, maybe you might want to post a photo of how you put all your eyeshadows into the palette. Yeah, so you can buy, yeah, empty, what are they called? Empty uh, eyeshadow something. palettes on, yeah. on Etsy or Amazon. Yeah, and yeah. they've actually got the silver, um, yeah, in there. The, yeah. pan, the pans in there. Yeah. Empty. You or Kim could do a video so that, because, yeah, I'm keen to see how much of the toner that we actually need. Um, yeah, you don't need that much, honestly. Spritz. Spritz, spritz and press. Spritz and press, press. I believe. Yeah. I, I was taught how to do it and I haven't actually done it. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> actually went to beauty school in and the I, US. And, and, I bought, and I bought the palettes and I bought some back to Kim Ellis. And uh, <laughs> that's why I know she's done it and I haven't. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, just spritz and press, spritz and press, and then, yeah, she's ready to go. Okay. There's no failure. Can I just Annabelle's asked, I think it's Annabelle, where do we post the photo? Um... I'm just trying to think of a oh, well, place that we can post. Um, uh, on, on Hot Ollie Mamas, on all of our, our groups. Yeah, yeah. post it the, either Kylie's group or our Team Vella group or the Hot Ollie Mama group or the Thrive group, somewhere where we can... Um, oh, look, get, get Savvy Australia. Yeah. Oh, yes. Or yeah. even just put... Or even if they want to go into my Danaika's personal Facebook page, and tag me in it. <laughs> we're going to go viral. Because we're going to go viral, you know what I mean? Um, and, yeah, so if they want to do that, just tag me in there. And um, if they want to post it on there. And, um, yeah, I'm going to give a giveaway. Holly's going to say something. And just, just quickly, if you've got teen girls um, or teen boys even um, that obviously that don't wear makeup, um, like my girls, they don't generally wear makeup um, at all. Um, Danae does it for special school events, but that's about it. Um, they, the Savvy Mattifying Primer has, as I said, all the essential oils in there that are great for blemishes like um, Manuka and things like that. So when they go to school or they don't want, they want to take that shine off their face and they want to protect their skin but treat their skin at the same time, the primer is ideal for that. So it's so, so good because sometimes they don't want that oily, shiny shiny face but they also want um to be able to you know help with blemishes and that's why i absolutely love these products and whether it's the sunscreen or the primers or any of our products they're actually not only doing that job of priming or protecting from the sun or you know covering up they're actually doing wonderful benefits as well because the ingredients are so cool i mean when you look at the ingredients in this it's absolutely insane so when you're buying a normal 
primer, which is designed to prime before you put your makeup on, they don't have all those incredible benefits of like calicrism or manuka or whatever. So, yeah, have a look at the ingredients because you're getting more than just a primer. Yeah, if I had to add that. Sorry. No, I love it. I love it. And that just reminded me when Kylie was saying before, we have a cross-line Facebook group for those girls who don't know. Kylie and I started it a while ago and it's called Get Savvy Australia. Uh, and if you're not already in that group, um, request to join. We post a lot of information. There's a lot of videos and how-to tutorial and, um, and thing like that things like that. So if you've got someone who's interested in learning how to use the makeup, um, the Get Savvy group, and we, I might actually upload this whole video into there if I can, because um, it's an amazing uh, resource library, I guess, of all things savvy. So make sure you jump into that group. Um, for those of you who aren't already a member with Young Living, I just thought I'd run through how to order these products. The Savvy range is such a beautiful makeup, you know, like I, my skin feels amazing, whereas I used to feel like my skin was all cloggy when I used makeup. So the best way to get any of the Young Living products is with your own wholesale account. We talk about, um, you know, the good, better and best way of getting started. Obviously, you can buy these products retail, but you would be crazy because uh, buy with a wholesale account, you save 24%. And, um, you know, by the time you grab the brushes, the foundation, maybe the mascara and a lipstick, uh, you might as well have saved the 24% uh, by doing that. You can, the, we obviously have kits, but you know, with the Savvy at the moment, the premium starter kits are out of stock. I believe they're actually um, changing the Savvy kits in the future. So at the moment, you can literally jump on, choose the products that you want. And if you order over 100 points, we're talking Young Living about PV rather than dollars. So you just got to choose products over 100 PV. Um, so that would be like the brushes, a foundation, a lipstick, a mascara, and then you get that free wholesale account which saves you 24% off forever you don't you know you have to put in one order a year but there's no annual fee no ongoing commitment although you'll love these products so much that you'll find yourself jumping on the essential rewards program and um, ordering on a monthly basis you know one month you might stock up your makeup supply next month you try the skincare the cleaning products you know the range is endless so we actually call it our wellness uh, box and we all get a wellness box every month delivered straight to our door. We save on shipping and um, as I say, you can change the products every month to choose what you want and best of all, they give you heaps and heaps of free stuff. So you've got to love essential rewards. And I guess... You know, our promise to you is that if you're unhappy with the products, get back in contact with either the company or the person who helped you get started um, and Young Living will replace the products. You know, sometimes things go wrong. Um, it's just human nature. Uh, obviously, if you choose the wrong colour, um, you know, then maybe talk to us and we'll help you uh, work out what you can do. But in terms of if any of the products are ever faulty, Young Living will replace them. So they are truly an amazing company. I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to Danae and to Christy. Aren't they amazing, these two girls? I am so, so blessed to get to spend so much time with them. And they always look so glamorous. They make the rest of us look like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> old chooks <laughs> but you know they they truly are amazing um thank you kylie for joining us again and um and for volunteering to be our model today so thank you everyone for joining us and we hope to see you on a future zoom call thanks again danae and thank you christy Thanks, Bye. 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 Bye.